Good evening, Oncers. It is time to talk about Once Upon a Time, Season 4, Episode 6, Family Business. I thought this episode was really good. It was really interesting and engaging, and every time I went to a commercial, I was like, no, why a commercial? There's no need for a commercial at all, because... I just want you to know what's happening, and I'm already excited for episode 7 for next week. I really like the flashback sequence with Anna and Mel. That was really interesting. Finally, Anna meets another princess. You know, that was another thing I thought was kind of funny. Anna hasn't met any of the other Disney princesses except for Elsa. So, yay! Disney princess meeting. Woo-hoo. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about that because that's weird. After Anna and Mel go on this adventure because Belle forgets what happened to her mother or how her mother died. Now, her mother was only in one scene of the episode. Uh, I had thought with Belle's mom, this was like this big thing about Belle's mom. She was there for two seconds, pretty much, and it was really lame. I hope that somehow that she comes back at least in another part of season four. It doesn't have to be the next episode, but maybe as season four progresses, we can see some more of that, just because it was two seconds, and that was boring. Or not even boring, just annoying. Like, why would you cut her out so quick? But I guess it just needed a reason to get... Belle to Arendelle. So Belle's in Arendelle. She goes to meet Oaken, who she asks her directions to the Rock Trolls. Oaken says, I don't know. Anna is in the Oaken shop, and she offers to take Belle to the Rock Trolls so Belle can get her memories back from what happened to her mother. They're there. And along the way, Anna is talking about how she doesn't like her aunt. She doesn't trust her aunt, which makes sense because her aunt just gives off this really icy, creepy exterior. Who would trust this woman? I don't. Elsa, I think, only trusts her in the past of Arendelle because of the snow magic. I think that's the only reason Elsa could possibly trust her. So Grandpappy gives Belle a stone, which should give her memories back. Helen and Anna go back to Arendelle, or they try to get back to Arendelle, but a storm from the Snow Queen causes them to lose their balance, and Belle loses the stone that would help her get her memories back, and Anna falls and hits her head. And the Snow Queen appears, and the Snow Queen tells Belle, this is family business. Woohoo! Pun! You know, episode title in the episode. Always a fun thing. Woohoo! That's pretty much the flashback wrapped up really quick. Also, Anna had the sorcerer's hat, or the container holding the hat, and she told Belle what it did, and how she was hoping to use it to get rid of the Snow Queen's magic. And now the Snow Queen in the past has it. And however it gets to Storybrooke, eh, I don't know, that's the weird connection. I hope that does get addressed soon. In present-day Storybrooke, there's a hunt for the Snow Queen. They go and find her ice cream truck. They find a bunch of information. Emma finds out she was in the Snow Queen's foster home for six months, which was her longest stay in the foster system. Whatever, I guess. I mean, it's building up the tension. And then finally, we figure out what the Snow Queen wants, or at least the characters figure out what the Snow Queen wants, because we already know she wants a family that loves her. Pretty much, the Snow Queen's going to use this mirror to pretty much get everyone in Storybrooke to destroy each other, except for Elsa and Emma, because she wanted to replace her two sisters with Elsa and Emma, I guess. The, the Snow Queen seems really, really creepy in terms of her plot. She wants to kill everyone so she can be happy with just two people. I mean, come on. It's a cool plot, and it's very much similar to the actual Snow Queen fairy tale, because in that fairy tale, a mirror shatters, and it causes people to see the worst in each other. And th that's being replicated in the show. So I do like how they're pulling that in. The Snow Queen doesn't seem evil, just she just should be more open and honest, I guess. But whatever. Anna still isn't in Storybrooke. I really thought the episode was engaging overall. Mary Margaret and David did nothing again. Henry did nothing and Regina and Robin had talked about trying to unthaw Marion, and Regina told him to pretty much let her go. Pun, woohoo, let it go. I don't think Robin Hood will do that. And that's the episode pretty much wrapped up in a, in a nice pretty bow, ASAP. It was really good. I liked it a lot. For a rating, four to five for me. It's watchable. It was much better than a couple of the episodes like The Apprentice. I hated that episode. It was boring. Make sure to go check out the review I did with Joe from Agree Disagree. I'll put a link in the description to that. But yeah, guys, I liked it a lot. It was really good. I feel like the episodes, or the past two episodes, have actually had really simple plots to talk about. So, I don't know. I, I just feel like I can't really get too, too much engaged. The only thing I really want to see is Elsa Trapped in the Urn. What do you guys want to see that's coming up? The preview for next week's episode looks really, really interesting. Emma seems to have control of magic, then she loses control of her magic. And, hey, what's going to happen? I don't know. We'll find out in a week. I'll be back then. Goodbye. <laughs>